Hello, Chigu. How are you? Today, I'm going to show you how to add two different recesses for two different classes and to make sure that the teachers do not overlap. That means in while the teacher is teaching in one class and they will not teach the next class and for the other classes who have al already gone for recess. Okay? So what you do now is click on your timetable. Okay? And go to school. When you go to school, click on bell times or rename periods. Okay? When you click on bell times or rename periods, Oh, God. Okay, click on bell times or rename periods. When you click on bell times or rename periods, you'll have your set of classes. I mean the timing for the particular class. So now, supposing this is for one set of classes, the recess is 3.15 to 3.35. The next recess would be at a different time. So what you have to do is you have to change here. This is five. This is the fifth period. So double click here and right click, I mean, uh, slash in as R1 as a recess okay and then the next one also five stroke r2 five stroke r2 two and then click okay and please change everything else accordingly the name of the period here yeah? seven eight Nine and ten. Okay, so there are a total of ten periods. So now this is meant for uh, all the classes. Now, now we need to set for the upper classes. So you click here and choose bell two. Okay, bell 2 is valid for which classes? So in here, I'm going to choose all the standard 3 classes. Okay. So whatever classes I choose for bell 2, the remaining will be in bell 1. Okay. So bell 2. So now... <laughs> I've already done this already. So it's already showing. So for bell 2, on the fifth period, you have to make sure that it is a learning class. So 3.15 to 3.45. And bell 2 is the recess. I mean, the next uh, period is the recess. So R2 is recess for 3.45 to 4.05. Fifth period here is the learning class. This is for bell 2. So if we see bell 1, it's recess at R1, 315 to 335. And at the fifth period is the classes. Okay? So these are the two things you have to do in the first step. So you go key in bell 1 and bell 2. So the timings will be the same for each bell. Okay, so click OK. So once you have clicked OK, click OK, you have got two options as well now. One, you click on classes, choose on the class, click on time off, and say this is the recess for the 
first batch of students. So, mendengar rendah atau mendengar uh, tahap satu, click on set for more and choose all the classes which are involved in this recess. Click OK. Also, for this three, click on time off. It's supposed to be here. Click set for more and choose all the classes of standard three. Click OK. Click OK. All right. So once you have done this, if you do a test, which you must always do every time you make any changes, yes. Click OK. Click OK. And then click Start Timetable Generation. You have your timetable accordingly. Now, once you have done the timetable accordingly, we need to check and see whether there are teachers who are teaching in the lower level, teaching in the upper level during your recess time here. Because this, uh, there is a 10 minutes difference between the periods. So to ensure that the teachers do not teach the following period, what you can do is you go to relations. Click on relations. Click on advanced. Click on cut relationship type. And choose maximum periods per day. When you click on maximum periods per day, change this to number one. Okay, you want maximum periods, only one period only. Okay, and then you apply this to selected teachers. The selected teachers is all the teachers. Remove the ticks from this place and only add ticks here. Why here? Because these are the two recess periods. So the importance of this card, this card relationship, you change it to strict. Now the meaning of this is you want maximum periods per day is one. So in this day, we click two places. So the teacher can either teach either the fifth period or the fifth period here. Either one. So if she teaches this period, this period she won't be teaching. If she is teaching this period, she won't be teaching this period. Okay. So click OK and click OK and then you do test again. Okay. All right. All done. So now we start a timetable generation. Boom. Now you won't have any clashing between the recessed period. Okay, teacher. Thank you very much. If there's any question, please send me an email or ask me. All right. Thank you very much.